It's time for the Adventures of Damsel Doggy, another Spelunky Daily Challenge, starring Brian. And I'm playing Spelunky today for a couple of reasons. One is because a little birdie told me that this was a good daily to play, so I figured I ought to check it out. And the other reason is because I've just spent so much time on Minecraft Bingo the last couple of days that, like, I need a break. I need to do something else. And I was like, well, Spelunky might be fun, so let's hope it turns out to be fun. Uh, but I've not warmed up. I've not played Spelunky in a number of days. Uh, so I'll probably make some foolish mistake along the way. I know in one of my recent Spelunkies, I said I was going more for distance than for score. And I got at least one comment that, uh... Yeah. Someone said that they like that change up. Um, and so I might do that today as well and focus a little bit less on trying to make sure that I get every little last bit of money and focus more on staying alive and just trying to get to the next level. And so we'll see how that goes. Uh, but nevertheless, if there's easy money to get, I will go after it. And yeah, this looks like, yeah, I think for two, uh, two ch ch chests. Two crates. That's worth going in here. Hey, climbing gloves. Okay, that was totally worth it. And a parachute. Not as worth it. Wouldn't mind somehow getting some... Uh, who say what's this? Whoa, hello. Some bombs out of another crate. There's another crate over here, so we'll see what we can get. There's some more money. All right, so money-wise, we're already up to... Oh, hey, and there's more bombs. Okay, it's like everything I could wish for. Maybe this is why... Maybe this is why I was told to play today's seed. Maybe it's going to be a very good seed with a lot of kind... kindnesses in terms of what happens to be in the crates. So we can only hope. We can also only hope that I still, like, remember how to play the game. <laughs> Let's see, there's going to be shopkeepers in the next level, right? <laughs> Um, let's see. I better go grab an arrow so I have something to carry forward into the next level. Thank you. And, yeah, the climbing gloves. I'm still kind of, like, getting used to having them again. And we'll see how this goes. So let's see. Yeah, Minecraft Bingo has been taking up, like, all my time over the last few days. Uh, but I've put out some videos. I've put out a few different test versions or given it, you know, to a handful of people to test out for me who found some bugs and so I fixed some bugs and I sent out another copy and there's still some more bugs and I've done a live stream and I'll probably do at least one more live stream because there's some other things that I need to test or debug live with people probably and I'm also just trying to talk to some folks to get I don't know kind of like game design opinions and different things on different aspects but it is it is mostly working at this point so I do think we're finally getting close, which is good. Because I want to get it out the door. Ooh, okay, lots of bombs. That's a good thing. Uh, Damsel Doggy, you sit tight over here. While I try to... Hmm, this is... This is still doable. Alright, so we use a rope. Rob the shop the safe way. Be very careful in terms of my buttons and different things. I do not have sticky bombs. Uh, but I'm pretty sure that that will kill the shopkeeper. Yes, great. You're dead, sir. Now I've got lots of bombs. Yeah, that alone is a good reason to play today's daily. Um, a bomb shop, and now I've got 44 bombs. Yeah, that's that's good stuff. I don't have paste, uh, but I am, since I have all these bombs, I am going to spend some bombs to get over here. Let's go ahead and shoot this. There's also a fair amount of gold in the wall right there. Uh, but I do see another crate up here, and that's the main thing I'm curious about. More bombs! Great! Okay, so money-wise, things are going really good. Uh, we have the climbing gloves, so we should be able to get back up. And so let me just... Wow, how did I miss that bat? With all of those shotgun pellets. Um, not worth going over there, I don't think. I already dropped the shopkeeper down here, so this trap has been set off. So let's get the rest of the money. Um, damsel doggy will need to carry out, so I'll drop the shotgun over here. Ooh, grab damsel doggy. And now we have to worry about angry shopkeepers, but I do have plenty of bombs. I still definitely want to keep my eye out for paste. So if we see a big spider on one of the next couple of levels, let's de definitely make sure that we kill it to get the paste. And then other than that, we can just kind of use our bombs and really try to stay alive. Moving forward. 
Some more ropes wouldn't hurt either, since we're a little low in that department, but having the climbing gloves kind of mitigates that somewhat, because we've already got a fair amount of... Okay, there's my... Oh, crap, didn't see you. There's my big spider. And I may just bomb directly down to him. Yeah, since I've got so many bombs, let's, and let's also get the money out of that. Okay, and then... All right, the spider went and just kind of climbed into a weird spot here, but I think if I do this... Oops, crap, nope, that doesn't work. I think now if I do this, I'll be able to get the spider. Great, okay, so there's my paste. I feel like most of what I'm doing here is feeling pretty inelegant, uh, but that's okay. I hear the dog to the left, and it looks like there's another shop to the left. Let's see, it's over here. More bombs, okay. Bombs, bombs, bombs galore. And I see Damsel Doggy over here. I've got pace now. Right, I've got pace now. So let's, that was not the ideal bomb placement, but it worked. Uh, we've got the what do you call? Okay. I don't know if this is smart or not, but I'm going to go hmm, one, two. I think that'll get him. No, that won't get him. What am I thinking? This might get him. One, two. It did not. I have no idea where the shopkeeper went. So that worries me. All right, he got out of here somehow. Oh, he died down there. There must be a vault, I'm guessing. All right, let's try to be kind of extra safe. Okay, if I drop straight down here, that would be okay. And there's gonna be shopkeeper at the exit as well. So let's go try to deal with shopkeepers before we do too much else. Oh, there he is, whoa, whoa. And there's a, crap. There's a caveman right in front of him. Um, I think I can push the caveman through and then hit the shopkeeper, but then I'm not sure what's going to happen the moment later. Okay. Shopkeeper died. Everything's okay. Phew! Okay. Um, let's go get Damsel Doggy. And let's be very careful about all the spikes around here. And is there anything else that I kind of really need? Not that I can think of. I can't get Damsel Doggy from here, can I? If I had the shotgun and did a shot... Oh, I need the key! Hello! <laughs> I know how this game works. Um, crap. I need... Oh, okay. Uh, if I get the shotgun... Crap. Uh, the ghost is about to arrive. I do not have the key. Um, Alright, Damsel Doggy. We may or may not be able to rescue you. Hopefully you'll stay alive. Where is the key? Where have I not looked? Uh, could it be over here somewhere? I don't think so. Um, I am aware that the ghost is going to be sneaking up on me over here. And it's not going to go well for me. Uh, but I'm going to try not to panic. Alright, and if I were the key, where would I be? I'm a poet, and I know it. I think the top left is one of the few places that I didn't look. Um, I'm gonna throw this down here somewhere, and then is there an easy way? Crap. I don't want to do this. Okay, let's go ahead and get Damsel Doggy to the exit, because that's always a good thing. And then let's get- oh, there's the key. I see it. In fact, I'm gonna start making a better way to get up there, because I have the bombs to do so, and so why not? And we'll run the ghost around a little bit. Um, this is not the best place. If I get the ghost up nice and high, okay, the, the chest is still there, so I need to go back to the chest, too. Um, but I think... let's just do that. Oh, I thought that was going to free up the key, and it did not. I'll spend another bomb, since I have so many bombs. Okay, and we will use the shotgun to make these jumps nice and easy. Let's get up this high. Okay, and now I'm over here, and now I'm gonna try to get the ghost somewhere out of my way if I can. Then we're gonna go back down. There's plenty of other shotguns down on the ground. So we're gonna go back down. Uh, we're gonna go back down. Oh, okay, crap, okay. We're gonna grab the chest. The locked chest of destiny. We're not going to get killed by the things that are still alive here that I should have killed already, but I've been a real slacker on this level. Uh, we're not even going to bother to ghost that, because we're trying to stay alive. Great. And we're going to pick up a shotgun later, or right now. 
Okay, that was a mess, but... Oh, I left the shotgun behind. I thought I just picked it up, and I didn't. Okay, well, I have plenty of bombs, but we need to make sure that we find whatever shopkeeper. Okay, I hear stuff happening to the left. Oh, am I worried? Oh, it's inside. Okay, good. So I can do this. Uh, one. And then if I go one, two, that should kill him. Okay, great. And so now... Once again, not even going to worry about ghosting. Um, going to try to stay alive. Haven't practiced Spelunky in a while. I've got my shotgun back. Let's go ahead and kill... Batty McBatterton over here. And the son of Batty McBatterton, the return of Batty. <laughs> I don't know what's going on. I'm just babbling. Don't mind me. Uh, damsel doggy, you're on your own. Go lead the way. Hopefully good things will happen to you down there. Okay. Damsel doggy is safe. I hear the other shopkeeper, so I think the exit's at the bottom left. Yes, it is. Yeah, damsel doggy, why don't you get out of here? And we'll go one, two. Okay, there is a shop as well, because there's still another shopkeeper. So three shopkeepers on this level. So let's keep our eyes open. There's the shop. Oh, and I had hired help. That's why they got angry right at the beginning. Okay. Uh, the little hand on the door means hired help. And this guy is going to be pain in the butt. Let's try this. One, two, any luck? That was super lucky. I will take it. Super lucky is how you win at Spelunky. <laughs> some skill. It's nice to have some skill as well, but uh, luck is definitely definitely the most important factor <laughs> for me today, anyway. All right, Kablamo, you are dead, sir. All right, Damsel Doggy will go and rescue. All right, so we're going to be getting out of the mines. Let's try to remember to bring the shotgun this time. We'll get Damsel Doggy in a moment. We're going to be getting out of the mines. Hello? with all the things that we could want, and 61 bombs, which is, talk about nothing to sneeze at, holy cow. Um, so for all of you would-be sneezers, it's time to get your allergy pills, I don't know. There was, there was not even really a joke to be had there, so I don't feel bad about it kind of going off the rails, because there were no rails for it to be on, I don't know. Oh, hey, black market, I see it, it's right here. Um, I'm going to attack it from here with a bomb, because that will also make it easier for me to get at the shopkeeper, I think. Because I think I might be able to shoot him from in here now. No, maybe not. Uh, if I do that, crap! Oh boy, crap! Crap, crap, crap! Did I kill him? Probably not. Oh, I did. Okay. Man, alright, what was I saying about good luck? Yes. Alright, now we have, uh, spiky shoes, which is great. And... Yeah, I could head straight for the black market, which I might consider doing. Ooh, there's a possibility of making sacrifices. You know what? We're going to go for distance. And so, do I, I heard Damsel Doggy there for a moment. So let's see if we can quickly rescue Damsel Doggy. And, I mean, I won't pass up, like, super easy money. Hmm. All right, Damsel Doggy is kind of directly below here, I believe. Let's try this. Okay. Okay, monkey. Monkey is bad. Okay, great. Uh, damsel doggy. I hear him to the left. I see him. Okay, great. Found you, damsel doggy. Crap. Okay, let's kill you. Let's kill you. Uh, damsel doggy is totally gettable. Let me go drop the shotgun back off. I am not going to, well, I'm definitely not going to sacrifice Damsel Doggy. I'm not going to worry about other sacrifices. Oh, man, do I want to spend one of my three ropes? I'm going to spend a bomb instead since I've got so many bombs. Oh, is that going to work? That's not going to work. Well, apparently I'm going to spend another bomb, too. And let's not get hit by a shotgun. Crap. Ugh. Oh, and there was another shotgun up there, so I could have just gone and grabbed Damsel Doggy. Okay, we're wasting a ton of time, but that's okay. Oh, crap, and now, all right. 
Well, all that time wasted to save Damsel Doggy to get an extra heart, and I ended up losing a heart in the process of trying to rescue Damsel Doggy. So, however, we are rescuing an adorable damsel. I need to, this reminds me once again, I need to go through my PAX, uh, PAX Prime photos and video and make like a video montage. And I had like a picture of a little pug dog that I tweeted. And I took a couple of pictures of that little pug dog that looked like Damsel Doggy. And so I, I totally need to do that. Get them up into a video so that you guys can enjoy. Whoa, okay. All right. Do we think he's down there? I think he might be down there. I didn't see if there was another one. So let's try firing around here for a while. Yes, there is. Okay. So there's a shopkeeper over there. Crap, there he is! Whoa! Okay. okay. I think I did already, like, hit him a couple of times. And that might help. Okay, so, just for good measure, we'll fire an extra spray of shotgun bullets over there. And let's see what's in this crate. All right, I'm still going too slow. So let's be prepared. I've got 59 bombs. Just spend a bunch of bombs in order to deal with everything that's happening here. Okay, that's, that's something. Um, yeah, this should work. One, two. Oh, didn't kill him. Crap. Okay. Okay, the Ankh shop is open. Not sure about the rest. Okay, there's at least two shopkeepers down there, and I think there might be shopkeepers on this level still. I didn't notice if uh, there was a damsel anywhere. More bombs, more ropes. This is all good stuff. Okay, feeling good about that. Oh, I've got jumpy shoes. Okay, I've got most of the power-ups now. Yeah, I've got most of the power-ups now, basically. And, oops, crap. Crap. It's not what I wanted. Oh boy, I'm in bad shape. I can save this, maybe. Oh boy. Crap. How do I do this? I have two ideas. Neither of them are very good. I have a third idea. Ropes, save me. Oh, okay, Whew. okay. Now they'll kill each other. Um, I don't have a compass yet, so let's get the compass. Come on, Tiki Trap. Do your Tiki-rific thing. The ghost is gonna be coming soon. I want the ghost to come from the left. Uh, and if we can get these guys to kill each other, then I might be able to get even more money. Or I could just leave them behind there. I'll probably just leave them behind there. Yeah, let's just get to the exit. We said we we're gonna go for distance, so we're gonna go for distance. 56 bombs, 4 ropes, 7 hearts, an ankh, and nearly every power-up except for the jetpack. Um, yeah, that sounds about right. So, let's see what else we can continue to do. There we go, you were dead, sir. Yeah, I'm definitely not even kind of going for every little bit of money. I just left a little pot behind, for example. And let's do that. To get rid of... Oh, I thought that was going to get rid of the spikes, too. Alright. That was not as useful of a bomb as I thought it was going to be, but that's okay. And so at this point, we've been through the black markets. And so... Yeah, I guess we're just trying to, like, stay alive and get to the exit. I've got the compass now, so I can figure out where the exit's gonna be. Uh, I don't really love any different places to go here. So let's... let's make a shortcut. Kablamo! That did not make a shortcut because I ended up... Uh, throwing that... Horizontally with the pitcher's mitt. Okay, so pitcher's mitt I have not been accounting for very well. Okay. So let's try to pay a little bit more attention to having the pitcher's mitt. So that I can place my bombs in the directions that I intend to. Uh, and this is not going anywhere useful. Okay. Alright, how do I get to where I want to go? 
I guess I have to go down here. How do I go down here without taking fall damage? Very carefully. Yeah, I do not like any of this. Let's take a shortcut. Zing! While you are stunned, we will hit you. You, I can just jump on your head. Crap! Oh boy! Okay. <laughs> that could have gone much worse. That guy's gonna blow up. Hmm. The word unblow upable is thrown around a lot these days. Okay, I think I can do this. Okay, the other guy hasn't seen me, this guy hasn't seen me yet, and so I should be able to do this. And then... Good. Okay, so that shopkeeper's dead. Oh crap, he's not! Oh my goodness! I saw the uh, lump of gold come out, and I assumed it was from the shopkeeper, and instead it must have just been some brick that I blew up. Crap. Um, I do not like this. Crap! Okay, now he's dead. We. It's so tempting. Oh, there's another shopkeeper! Okay, alright, well, more bombs, that's good. Oh, crap! No! Wake up, please wake up, please wake up, please wake up! Crap! Oh, boy. Crap. Oh, boy. Alright, music changed. I think I should be okay. There's a million million thingies here. And so, despite the fact that I said I was going to go for distance, I'm going to do that. And then I can do this. Okay. Crap! Oh! oh. Alright, there's still some gold on the ground. I'm not going to get that gold. I'm getting too greedy. 63 bombs. We're still alive. We got a bunch of money. How much money did I get? 160,000? Okay, yeah. It's still pretty mediocre uh, for a daily for getting this far, but we're still alive. We still have the Ankh. And what's in this shop? Uh, ropes. Good. I could use some more ropes, actually. So... I think I'm going to do this. Uh, let's go ahead and blow that up. Kablamo. And then we will go... A one. And two. Did I kill the shopkeeper? I think I might have. Alright, great. Let's get my ropes. Hello, ropes. Shopkeeper is dead. There's another compass down here. Yeah, we're gonna move mostly downwards and towards exits. Uh, this is just too easy to sacrifice a couple of shopkeepers here. Uh, or at least one shopkeeper. So let's go ahead and do this sacrifice. In case it helps us out in the long run. Um, okay, there's the other shopkeeper. Let's go ahead. It looks like it will be useful to blow this up. So I can take a bunch of things out with a shotgun right here. Such as you and you and you. Crap! Go away! Okay. Still alive. And that shopkeeper killed himself. Good job. How much time do I have? I have a lot of time. And so I could... Crap! Okay. I could bring shopkeeper corpses back up to the thingy. Is that worth doing? I think it might be worth doing, actually. Since I've got so much time. So let's... can I get up here? Crap. Um... If it's gonna spend a rope... Oh, no, I can do that. Okay, great. So at least get the shopkeeper corpse here, and then there might have been like a tiki man that I could get as well. It's basically like, do I want to spend any more bombs or anything? I don't think so. There is a caveman over here. I have 30 seconds left. Yeah, this is easy enough. This still won't get me a prize. From Kali. But that's okay. We've got seven points of favor with Kali now, I believe. And so yeah, we're just one away from getting something good. And yeah, I'm not going to bother going after that little bit of gold. Okay. Yeah, we're not going on a huge score run here. If we happen to get a good score, that's great. But instead, we'll try to stay alive. Okay, it's a huge danger right here. I'm gonna take a risk. Okay, great, that worked out. Uh, where do I want to set this down that it will be useful? Actually, right here, right now. Ah, oh, I didn't even manage to hit the... Darn it. And now this guy might run into Kali's altar? Nope, okay, we're okay. 
Oh, baby. So let's see. Ah, uh, yeah, because Minecraft Bingo is taking so long, I also... Minecraft Exploration and Tactics, I'm pretty sure I've got like the world and the seed and everything that I want to set up. Like all set up and ready to go. I just have to like start playing and recording it. So, hopefully, hopefully that will be coming very soon. Could I get a jetpack possibly from this? I do, I get a jetpack. I think that's the first time I've ever gotten the jetpack as a collie reward because it's the first time I've gotten my first reward. I guess we might as well start planning for this, too. So yeah, you can only get the jetpack, I think, if you have all the other items and rewards. And then I think if you, oops, even had the jetpack as well, then you get like a box of bombs as a reward from Kali. Um, Alright, I definitely need to rescue Damsel Doggy, because I just took more damage there. And this fall damage is starting to accumulate. Although with the jetpack... One would imagine... I shouldn't take too much more fall damage if I play my cards right. Okay, I'm gonna go ahead and take this as well. So this will get me up to six more points. And so that means I'm two points away from getting, uh, oh, Kali's Cup. I'm nowhere near Invigoration. Yeah, so I should keep trying to get everything I can. I thought I just saw the, yeah, the Worm Tongue. So let's use our friend the Worm. Help Damsel Doggy out. Oh, crap! I did not do that properly. Damsel Doggy was not helped out. <laughs> I'm sorry, Damsel Doggy. Oh, that's so sad. Alright, well, let's go get Kali's Cup. And we'll use that as a way to start getting some more... There we go. I haven't had Kali's Cup in so long. It's probably been like a month of like real time or something. Okay. We have a ghost on screen, and we have not dealt with the shopkeeper yet. Oops, crap. I forgot that I have... Okay, shopkeeper dealt with. Ghost is where? He must be coming from the left. Um, if I sacrifice the shopkeeper, it will get me closer to invigoration, and it will get me some blood. Let's try not to die. <laughs> <laughs> Imagine that. There's a strategy. Try not to die. Alright, I got a little bit of blood in the cup. Um, I could definitely go after a little bit more. Um, hmm. Should I do this? No. Let's not start ghosting gems. This is already not going to be a good score. So let's accept that and just try to move forward. Um, this is kind of too easy just to pass up, and so I'll grab this, but then we'll just move forward. Okay, and I've got Kali's cup. And so I should try gently to grab blood. Although honestly, it's going to be more valuable after I make it past the... Let's hope the um, Moai head is on this level. Okay, just firing some speculative shots over here in case they're little alien thingies. There's the Moai head. Okay, great. That makes a lot of things easier already, actually. Okay. So let's kill this guy. The exit's gonna be below. I either want the cup to be about to be filled, or I wanna fill it once and refill it. I don't think there's enough enemies on this level to fill it once and refill it. So I want my cup almost full. Idea. Ooh, what do we have in this shop? Uh, nothing I really need. All right, don't think I got any more blood there. We got a couple of shopkeepers who are up to no good, making trouble in my neighborhood. All right, one of them has fallen out of the world, and the other one I'm pretty sure I can get to fall out of the world just by standing here. Yes. If you're on the same levels as the shopkeeper, they stop jumping, and so that's a good way to just make them run straight out of the world. Uh, so I would like to get a tiny bit more blood uh, damsel doggy, I would like to rescue the damsel, and then I need to sacrifice myself. All the while, not dying in a stupid fashion. Alright, so, is there a damsel? Damsel doggy, if you were on this level, where would you be? Is there no damsel on this level? Did I already see damsel doggy? This is not the level where I threw him into the worm tongue. That was 3-1, obviously. 
because the worm tongue I think only appears on 2-1 and 3-1. Um, Alright, I am not seeing a damsel doggy very sadly. I'm also not seeing any other blood creatures that could help me out. Gonna lose the shotgun here, but since we haven't seen a vault yet in the threes, hopefully there'll be a vault on 3-3 where I can get, gain a shotgun. Yep, okay. So we're gonna go ahead and kill ourselves. I like to fall out of the world. Whee! Ankh resurrects us. We get resurrected inside the Moai head. Head jet falls on our head. And with 57 bombs, 10 ropes, and a jetpack, but no shotgun. We will continue forward to 3-3. And hope to find something good. Oh boy. 